What's going on everybody? Derek Rogers here with another Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest video. And today we're going to be looking at a deck that I've been working on for the last couple weeks. And that is Breaking the Power Cap with a completely standard legal deck. So let's take a look at it here. We got Avatar of Growth. When this creature enters the battlefield, convert X gems to green. X is your green mana bonus. Then fetch the first two land supports from your library. Move those cards to the board under your control. Song of Creation. Whenever you draw your first land support each turn, it gains full mana. When you cast a non-land card, draw two cards. Resourceful 5. The first card in your hand gains three mana for each other card in your hand. At the end of your turn, discard all but the first card from your hand. Yorick the Desecrated. Whenever a non-token, non-copy creature enters the battlefield under your control, copy that creature onto the battlefield, and then that creature loses a reinforcement. God Eternal Ronas. When this creature enters the battlefield, double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn. When this creature is exiled or dies, if three or more cards named God Eternal Ronas are in your graveyard, return it to the battlefield, then reinforce it three times and exile all cards named God Eternal Ronas from your graveyard. Finale of Devastation. Pick one of the first four creatures from your library that costs X or less, where X is this card stored mana times two. Move that creature to the battlefield under your control, then exile this card. If X is 8 or more creatures, you control get 8 plus 8 plus 8 and gain haste until end of turn. This will only pull the avatar of growth. It will not pull the other two creatures. But I needed it because this actually gives all the creatures haste, so that way you're not just making a looping deck that does absolutely nothing we can actually kill with this deck. Stitch in time, gain one extra swap. If there are ten or more blue gems, gain one extra swap. If there are ten or more red gems, gain one extra swap. Idyllic Tutor, pick one of the first four different aura and or enchantment cards from your library. It gains half of its mana. This will grab all the supports that we need um, to set it up faster. And on top of that, the one thing I've noticed during my testing is that you can easily lose Song of Creation. So if we have two different ways to get it, then we can keep it on the field and it'll actually stay on the field. Thousand Year Storm. Whenever you cast a nine copy spell, reinforce the support, then create X copies of that spell and give those copies X times three mana, where X is the number of this support's reinforcements. At the end of the turn, this support loses all of its reinforcements. Court of Calling. Pick one of the first three different creatures in your library. Fetch that creature. It gains X times three mana. And the last card, Whirlwind of Thought. Whenever you cast a non-creature card, draw a card. Then you gain three loyalty. This effect can trigger up to four times per turn. And we're just going to be doing this in Rising Tensions today. Since that's running and Training Grounds isn't right now. But Whirlwind of Thought is basically to be able to reach Tamiyo's third ability um, as quickly as possible. So that's that's the basic plan. And then once we get that down, then... Uh, then uh, we, can, we can start the loop. Because you don't want to start it without that because the Avatar growth won't do much. It'll only convert like four gems, so... Let's see if we can't get this going with Song of Creation. Okay, we only got one extra swap. Which isn't actually... It's not good. Let's see if we can at least... everything I don't even see a good match all right 
We got our third ability out now at least. It didn't take us too awful long. We didn't get to start the loop yet, but... Let's keep that. Do I at least... Let me see if I got an on-color match first. And i not seeing one, so... We don't want to do anything if we can't actually use the ability. Maybe we'll get lucky and get one next turn. I'm still not seeing one here. Leaving us nothing. Alright, now we got one. Now we're good. Because I see a green match right there. So we're going to draw some cards. And gain some mana on top of that. So we're going to grab the avatar first. Court of Calling is really only to grab Ronas, but since we don't have a great starting hand, we're going to have to pull the Avatar first. And we also need to get a Yorick down uh, uh, as well, because he's what drives the, the, the deck so quickly. And what I really need to find is a stitch in time. But as long as we can keep putting the avatars down, we'll have more than enough mana to, to keep the loop going. As long as we don't lose Song of Creation on top of that as well, because Song of Creation will always keep our hands full. Which is why I also put the tutor in there as well, so that way we can always, we can always have it. I'm not really sure if the Thousand Year Storm is, is, is needed. I might be able to change that for, for something else. But it kind of gives you a bunch of copies of Court of Calling, which is the ideal is what you want to do, because that's how you can pull the most amount of Ronuses, is by keep casting as many Court of Callings as you can. Hopefully we got an extra swap here. Oh, we do. Okay, good. We got four, actually, so I can ditch this. I can ditch these two as well, because really the only thing important is that is that cord. Yeah, 11 shield count on song, so I think we're all right with that. So we're going to grab another Ronus. Grab another song. This actually works fairly quickly. I, I think I averaged somewhere around 10 minutes to to get this going. It's not as is nowhere near as fast as, as what you could do it in Legacy, but I just wanted to see if it was possible to do in Standard, and I wanted to see how long it would take to get going. And it works. It works fairly well. Way better than I expected it to. It's easy. Draw two cards and then we're just gonna... Hmm. Oh, that was a copied spell. That's why that didn't work. Okay. Alright, no big deal. I forgot that the Rising Tensions actually gives you a copy of whatever 
whatever spell that you played. Sometimes for get to think about things like that. Alright, let's play another one. That's why I also didn't put any gem changers in here either, because I don't, I don't think you really need them, especially when you're getting the double the mana ramp off the avatar growth. And I mean, so you're gaining, you're changing it's like 16 gems to green twice in, a, in, in just one casting of one. I did this earlier and ended up with like 67 extra swaps, which was a little bit too much. I didn't really need to get that crazy with it, but I just kind of wanted to see how long it would it would go for. And I tried it without stitching time, but um, a lot of times it would just you would just kill, and you couldn't actually break the the power cap because it was just it you, you, it just ended i mean you didn't have anything else there so you didn't have any extra turns i mean you would run out of cards to play like now so you know if i didn't have stitch in time we wouldn't have any extra swaps and then uh i wouldn't be able to do anything so we're just gonna ditch everything here and fill out this cord and that'll give us four copies because song of creation will give us give us two so we get one two we get two copies i thought we got four copies that's because of the extra spell we get there i always i already forgot about it already and pick another ronus that's all we need now is is ronuses we got more than enough to keep going and the York is what really really helps uh, power this up and 10 extra swaps so that's not not terrible we don't need any more stitching time so we just want to keep this this core going and the one thing I, I found out um, when I was playing with the uh, with a thousand year storm and the song of creation is the song of creation also triggers copied spells which is nice so you still get to draw even even if it's a copied card from from the storm you still get to draw which is I, I thought that was pretty nice I didn't realize that at first. I feel like Thousand Year Storm is not giving me copies like it should. I don't know if I'm missing something here, but usually it, it works. I don't know if I'm just drawing too much. Or what the actual problem is here. I think it takes somewhere around um, 13 reinforcements from the Ronus to uh, actually break the power cap. I, I can't. I can't remember what number exactly it is. Okay, we already got it. There we go. Awesome. It's 12. 12 Ronuses will break the power cap. So we can just shut everything off and finish out our few gem swaps that we actually have left, which isn't terrible. I've, I've had it way higher, so it's really no big deal. I don't, there's a match five, but I wanna, I wanna avoid that because that'll keep the loop going. And you can still kill with it. 
which is why I put the finale of Devastation in there. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.